Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Vito here back on the Madden 16. Today I'm bringing you guys the next play out of the Gun Trips TE. And this play is great. It's in the Carolina Panthers Offensive Playbook. If you guys are interested in any other plays or formations in the Carolina Panthers Offensive Playbook, go to the channel, go to playlists, and all the playlists are named after the formation that they broke down, which again is in the Carolina Panthers Offensive Playbook. So today in the Gun Trips tight end, we're going to go sk skip all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to pick the play half back angle. And it's going to be man and zone covered both, and it's a great play. You got a bunch of reads all over the field, so let's jump right into it. Uh, first thing we want to do is slant our A or X receiver for on PlayStation. So to do that, we want to hit Y or triangle, A or X, and then left on the right stick, and we have ourselves a slant. Next, what we want to do is drag our Y receiver and triangle if you're on PlayStation. So to do that, we want to hit Y or triangle, Y or triangle once more, and then down on the right stick, and boom, we got ourselves a drag. Those are the only adjustments you really need, but I guess you could streak uh, your B receiver or your X receiver, whichever, uh, if you have a one-on-one -on -one situation, if you're that type of person. But that's completely optional. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, your B receiver. You want to streak, not your X, because you're, you're going to need your X later on. Your B receiver, you could definitely streak him if you want, if you like to take advantage of one-on-one -on -one situations. Boom, streak your B receiver, and if you got a one-on-one, -on -one, then you got a one-on-one -on -one with your B receiver. So let's just jump right into this. We're going to snap the ball. We're going to be looking at our A, our RB, and then we're going to be looking at our Y and our X. So we're going to snap the ball. We're going to see that neither of our uh, B or RBs are open. So we're going to dump it off to our drag. And unfortunately, Cam Newton cannot get an accurate pass off as he gets hit. So let's go ahead and run the play again. Drag our Y, slant our A. We're going to snap the ball. This time we're going to get it off to our RB across the middle. Just kidding. Okay. Okay, timeout. Timeout. I, I promise you guys this play is really good. The timing was off on that for some reason. So let's just snap the ball. And we got our RB receiver open across the middle. It's not really the middle, but we hit him as soon as he broke because our A receiver pulled that zone out of the way. And that's what it's going to look like 90% of the time. This time we're going to snap the ball. Same exact thing. Our A receiver pulls Bobby Wagner, number 54, out of the way, and we're going to be able to hit it to our RB receiver. So let's go ahead and do this again. Drag our Y. Snap the ball. Our RB receiver is open, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait, and we're going to hit our X receiver across the middle of the field. But unfortunately, he's going to drop it. I have my RB receiver open. I'm trying to show you guys, to the best of my ability, all the other reads you can make on this play. Sometimes the drag is going to be open deeper down the field. This time it's man coverage. No, it's zone coverage. I'm sorry. This time we're going to hit our drag. We're going to juke to the inside to get a nice amount of yards. My RB and my A receiver were also both open whenever I first uh, snap the ball. This is goal line. This play actually does work in goal line as well. We're going to hit our RB receiver across the middle, and boom, we got ourselves a nice uh, touchdown if we were in the goal line. And like I said, this play does work in the goal line just the same exact way. In fact, this play is most effective in goal line situations, I would say. But it also torches man, it torches zone. You just got to make the right read at the right time. Like all my plays are going to beat man and zone. So let's run the play a few more times. Now the ball, this time we're actually going to hit our A receiver because no one's standing over the middle underneath. So we're going to hit our A receiver right away. And this is what we like because this play is normally like deep routes down the field that develop. So if people are going to start bringing the blitz or if they're going to do like heavy coverage plays, then we're going to be able to dot them up underneath very, very easily. Because this formation really is about uh, hitting them deep, rolling out with our quarterback. But this is a great play to mix in because it really throws your opponent off, and it makes them. It makes it so they can't just uh, just run the cover four, run the man press, because this will destroy it. So this is going to be um, goal line. We're going to hit our B receiver. That would be like in the back of the end zone. Um, normally, I wouldn't hit that, but it, it, in goal line, that that receiver gets open a lot. So that's the only reason why I really hit him there. So let's go ahead and snap this ball again, and we got our Y receiver open. We're going to hit this time. We had like our, our A and our RB, but I wanted to drag that time. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to trying to show you guys variation. You know, a lot of the times they're almost all open as long as you hit them at the right time. Going to hit our RB receiver this time, and we're going to be able to rack it for a nice few amount of yards. So we're going to play one more time before I wrap up this video just to show you guys this is an incredibly effective play. This definitely is one of my more favorite plays uh, in this playbook. So we're going to wait. We're actually going to hit our drag. Um, we're going to leave it enough time to separate, and we're just going to go ahead and run out of bounds. Even We probably could have scored a touchdown. And that's really going to be it for this play, guys. Um, so if you guys like the play, definitely give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow, follow, follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below, as always.